Hello everyone and welcome back to Still Life for part two, and thank you very much for the support on the first part. Right, now um, we need to get back to the office, but of course it's not going to be as easy as going down the stairs because they don't exist anymore, so we've got to find another way out. And um, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably that exit that was uh, boarded up that we had a look at last time, so let's go check this out again. If it's not this, then I, I don't know, maybe we have to sort of <laughs> climb out the window and abseil down, I'm not sure. Or maybe we can go out here and up and down and Good I don't idea. know. All ah. I need now is something to pry these boards off. Okay, yeah, and I can use an item. I doubt I want to waste the camera trying to pry the boards off. <laughs> I'll try it. What is she gonna say? Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, right, well there's gotta be something I can it can pick up, right? Anything over here? I absolutely love what they've done here. Nah, same the as last view time. Is just super. Okay, alright. Drop the sarcasm. Come on. Let's see what we can do. Still can't seem to do anything in this direction. Maybe I have to go back into the crime scene. Maybe I need to speak to Claire again. Maybe she's got some uh, some ideas. Miller's not going to be very helpful. Yeah, over here. By the fridge, maybe? Right. That was his coffee. Nothing in the fridge that I can take, no. And I can't go any further. Yeah, let's go back into the crime scene. Okay. Ah. Oh, it's the lamp again, isn't it? The light. I need a tool before I can use this properly. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be necessary. So we got this pile of junk. What? Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Is that a table leg or something? Whatever it is, I've got it, and it's going to have to do, I guess. What is that? Let's just check that out. Oh, it's a lead pipe. Torn off a water heater. I see the radiator. Yeah, okay. Well, let's try that. Forget Claire. Here we go then, right, so if I just, yeah, stand in this general area, and use lead pipe, right! There you go. <laughs> you fell in your ass, but it's a job well done. <laughs> okay. Fucking hell, Victoria. Okay, don't mess with Claire, don't mess with Victoria, don't mess with anyone, really, apart from Miller, I guess, because he's a chicken shit. Right. Wrong. No. It looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Hmm. Okay. And the hard way involves what? Just going down? Oh, jumping on this? Alright. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I guess that works. Uh, I'd like to see Claire and Miller try that, to be honest. Ah. Oh. What was that? Man, that's smart. Is that tape? Was, oh, oh, it's Miller, right. He, he did try it. God, Miller, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tate, it's not that funny, man. Come on. Do you think he's okay? Yeah. <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> All right, then. Um, okay. Well, he's gone. Should I go? Should we... Let's go back inside. I want to see how Claire's doing, actually, if she's going to get down the same way. Wow, look at these stairs. Let's have a look. There is no way I'm going up there. Certainly not that way, no. Right. Okay, so, um, no evidence of someone messing around with the stairs, like taking nails out or anything like that, though, right? Nah, I think this building was just a wreck. Let's, um, let's go back to the office, right? Let's go back into the, um, the 4x4. And... and leave? Can we do that now? Yes, we can! Alright, I guess we're done. Lombard tech, eh? Ah. Ah, I see. So this is how we get around, is it? The fifth murder scene, all the way over to the office. Let's do it. Okay, nice. Chicago Police Department then, alright. What have we got over here? Is this Miller's car or something? Thank God I'm not driving that piece of crap. <laughs> well, to be honest, your 4x4 doesn't look great. I mean, maybe it's a little bit better than the police car, but I don't know. Uh, well, like this way, I take it, yeah? Right. Oh, that's slightly different. Okay, so I guess we're using the elevator then. B1, B1, right. Yep, we can't go any further. Um, yeah, this way it is.
Okay. Don't think I need to use the emergency phone quite yet. So what we got? B2, 8, we're in B1, right? So 8th floor, B2. I guess uh, let's start at the top and work down. Let's try 8. Is, is that my office? Do I work in the basement? <laughs> right. Okay. Anyone here? Hang on. Okay, we can uh, we can have a look at this door, apparently. Oh, no. No, there's something by the it's side the of it, though. Shoot. Oh, I see. Oh, for the film. Right. I've still got the camera, haven't I? So, right. Um, do we keep the camera but leave the film? Or I, I guess we can't uncombine the items. Let's just use it in here. I don't need to do that. You don't? Oh. Well, forget it, then. <laughs> uh, well, fair enough. Uh, let's just keep going this way, I suppose. Oh, we can go left as well, it seems. Through here? Possibly? There's something over there, a vending machine too? Oh, an uh, interrogation room, I take it. Okay, what's this? We have a, we've got a cup here. It's my boss's coffee mug. Ah. Should I? Nah. Nah, leave it for, uh, leave it for your boss to clear up. Security camera. One-way mirror, I take it. <laughs> Victoria, come on, it's just a table. There you go. Okay, well, let's leave, I guess. I don't think we really need to be in here, do we? Do we want to get a drink or something? What's this? Coffee? I never work without coffee. Of course, when it comes to this coffee, I'll make an exception. Oh, really? <laughs> that won't work. No, I guess not. I have no use for napkins. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's, uh, let's maybe try and focus our efforts somewhere else, shall we? So that's as far as we can go. Let's go back. I think there was a way to the left. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, this is a, a doorway, not a window. Right. Right! Oh. Oh, is this my desk? That's Miller, right? Why did you take so long getting here? You're the only one with a 4x4. <laughs> Christ, I don't even want to go there. I mean, what is it with these idiots who buy 20 lottery tickets anyway? I mean, do they really have to waste everyone's time? God, they piss me off. I just wanted a pack of gum, too. Hey, last time I saw you, you were limping to your car. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just my ego. It got hurt more than me, I think. So what are you up to? I started the report. I figured you were too pooped to do it. You know, Miller, you do have your moments. He saved your life. Anything I can do to help with the report? Actually, yes. I need Claire's preliminary report to help me out. I'm not going down there. She might lock me up in one of the drawers and leave me there. <laughs> also, I need the pictures you took, so could you please drop the camera in the evidence chute in the hallway? I tried that, and it didn't work. Let's continue. Oh, I almost forgot. Is everything okay with your girlfriend? Oh yeah, forget about it. She knows now it's a big misunderstanding. But just don't answer my cell phone again, please. Ah, uh, okay, I alright. I promise. Well, okay, see you later. Right, so, alright. So, uh, I'm taking it that Claire's working downstairs in B2, I guess. Um, okay. Let's just have a little look around my office. It's a nice little area, actually. Very few desks. Right, hang on. What's this? Something over here. A plastifier. This little machine can be very practical. I'll take your word for it. Right. I guess we don't need to uh, use it right this now. This is used to lift fingerprints. Ah, okay. So just a, a whole host this of forensic... This is used to lift fingerprints. So a whole host of forensic devices, I suppose. Okay, I think we're pretty much done here, so um, yeah, let's, let's back away. Anything else? Yes. What's that? It's a paper cutter. Ah, yeah, it does look like one, actually. And a couple more devices, and what looks to be another coffee machine, but I'm sure it's not. Nothing in the cupboards up here, no? Sink? Don't want to mess with it. Um, okay, let's, I guess, back away. Unless we don't want to... No, we, we don't want to look outside the window or anything. Uh, right. Let's have a look at this desk over here. I take it this is mine. I have a message. Really? So you do. Hello, Victoria. <clears throat> this is Todd. I heard about the fifth murder. I expect a full report on my desk tomorrow morning. Yes, you would. Wouldn't you? <laughs> Maybe I should have done something with that mug. Hang on, what we got here? It's a present! Oh! Someone sent me a present? Okay. Um, 
Can we get started, or... There's a funky looking mouse. We got a... I was going to say that's a business card, but no, it's a, it's a lumber tech thing. Right. And what have we got up here? Oh. Oh, an autopsy report. Wow. Oh, for all the victims? Gotta be honest, I can barely see that. Hopefully you can make it out in the video, though, if you want to read this yourselves. That's very small text. I don't know if we can... No, I don't think we can make it bigger. Wow. This is pretty damn gruesome, honestly. They don't really hold back in this game, do they? Right, okay. Well, there you go. So let's have a look. Right, Christmas present. Oh, for Victoria's dad. Oh, it's not for me then. Right, it's I guess it's from me. And uh security card to access them. Oh, to access the morgue. Fantastic. Right. Um I guess I'll be uh, I'll be using that pretty soon. Let's back away. Um oh, wait, actually, let's go back down here. Can we No, no, we can't have a look at the drawers or anything like that. Um what about this door over here? Where does this go? Go on, hop to it. <laughs> now I know how to get her to run. She's going to get a workout. Boss's office. It's locked, of course. Fair enough. All right. It seems we can't actually go anywhere else in the office. I think this is pretty much the extent of it, so... Let's leave. Let's head down to B2. I've got the card, right? So, down here. I need to put the camera in the evidence shed. Oh, that's right. That's right. I guess now, because I've talked to him, that's fine. So, let's see. Do I need to separate it, or... Mm, let's just try it like this. Okay, that works. It's the evidence shoot. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, the camera, the film is gone. It's uh, it's being developed right now, I guess. Now, can we go down to B two to the morgue? I guess so. Oh, hello. Agent McPherson. Officer Tate. Agent Ashby wants to see you. She's waiting for you at the morgue. All right. So, how did you guys get the body down? Yeah. Me and some of the forensic guys set up a ladder where the stairs fell. Hmm. Oh, well, I hope no one got hurt. Nope, I know what y'all mean, though. That place was as stable as lemmings near a cliff. <laughs> one way of putting it? Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. And, uh, he's gonna take a seat. Fair enough. Can we, can we go down, or do we need to talk to him? No, I guess not. To the morgue it is. Ashby, is that Claire's second name? It's her surname? I guess so. Um, yeah, so B1, yeah, that's that's the car park. B2, the morgue, I guess? It's a big old elevator. That's like an entire room going down, but I suppose, you know, if this is uh, going down to the morgue, which it is, yeah. It's going to have to be big to get the bodies in there. Okay, let's see then. Three ways to go by the looks of it. Let's um, Let's try this door to start with. Oh no, maybe... Ah, oh, I might need to go up there, actually. I think I saw a card reader. Wow, look at this. Security station, looks like. Hang on, what's this? Oh, I see the camera feed from just outside. Yeah, I think it's that door we need to go through, really. Uh, okay. Is that it? I guess. Everything looks normal at the moment. Can we have a look at any other monitors? No, I guess not. All right, uh, what about the desks down here? No one's manning the station, I see. It's always good. Oh, the bin? My God, it stinks in there. <laughs> All right. Okay, I think we're probably done. Mm, just out of interest, what's down here? Oh, okay, a couple of doors. This one? I never Toilets? use mixed public washrooms. They're yeah. just too icky. <laughs> Too icky, eh? Alright. So that's that. Oh, a notice board. Here we go. Maybe some new information. To find out who the gunman was behind the grassy knoll, please call 555-1963. Now that's tasteless. <laughs> Just out of interest, have you tried calling? There might be some legit information. Doubt it, but uh, you never know. Right, yeah, so through here. That is a card reader, isn't it? Yes. That's weird. My access code doesn't work. Ah. Okay. Can we... Right, we can have a look at this specifically. Can we use something here? I need an access card. 
I think I've already got one. Right, so that, that symbol in the top left, it doesn't always come up. There you go. Uh, is that it? That's weird. Oh. My access code doesn't work. Your code doesn't work. Well, I obviously need to uh, to use the card here. Um, so let's swipe that down. And then... Okay. No, red light. Red light's bad, isn't it? Let's, uh, can we just have a look at the card? I mean, it... There's got to be a reason I can look at things, right? So let's zoom in. Is that my code? Maybe down here? Oh, 583, possibly. For, uh, no vodka. Oh, shit. Or number vodka, maybe? Five, let's try 583. Um, so, give me a sec. Oh, uh, do I need to swipe again? Let's just swipe, just in case. And then 583. 583. Five, no? Hold on, hold on. Let me just use this again. <laughs> Okay. I'm thinking it's probably vodka, because I think we need to enter five digits, I guess. So would it be eight? Right, okay, I've, I've got another theory, so okay that. It's wrong, but um, swipe it again, and then vodka, right? So V O D K A. Yes! Okay, there you go. That was that was a clue. Neat. All right. Um, okay. In here? Looks like that's the only way, so yep, that's what we're going to do. Aha. Uh -huh. Agent Shelby, I take it. Uh, well, let's, let's talk to her to start with, shall we? Hey Claire, get that preliminary lab work done? As a matter of fact, I'm not quite finished. However, I have enough to brief you on if you have the time. For you, always. Okay, here goes. The victim's blood revealed high levels of alcohol. Also, I found traces of rohypnol, which is also known as the date rape drug. Mm -hmm. This explains why there was no apparent struggle throughout the assault. The assault started in the first room where she was beaten. Wow. She probably fell when you found the spot of blood. She was then carried into the next room. The killer ripped off her clothes and beat her again. She definitely was unconscious at this point. He let her bleed on the floor until he had enough blood to write the messages you found using the luminol. Disturbed in sanctuary, right? Hmm. The killer then cleaned off the messages. Obviously, he knew we would find them. He then dragged the victim by her hair along the hallway and stopped to hang up his coat. He finally brought her into the bathroom. The cause of death was drowning. He forced her head under the water until death ensued. Like the other victims, she was killed before the mutilations. She was stabbed nine times and then eviscerated from the lower sternum to the lower abdomen. And that's what we're left with. What are you thinking? I'm thinking these mutilations will get worse. It wasn't part of his MO for the first three victims. They were found beaten and drowned, not like this. Do you think he'll change his MO in the near future? No, I don't think so. Drowning his victims seems to be his focus. That stage in the assault is very important to him. No, the stabbing business is from something else. I have a feeling that if we knew what it was, we would catch the son of a bitch. Also, he covered the face of the fourth victim and now this one. This strongly suggests that he knew the last two victims. I'll ask Miller to correlate the last two victims' info. Okay. How about you? Did you come up with anything interesting? Other than what yes, you just told me. Yes, I got me. a partial that doesn't belong to the victim. Oh. Very nice. Did you compare it to the partial you found from the fourth crime scene? No, not yet, but I'll let you know if I can compare them. After all, they are only partials. Fair enough. Maybe we'll have to use that machine upstairs. What about the stuff I found? Anything worth mentioning? We know that our killer has black hair, if it was he that hung his coat on the nail. It might have been a junkie for all we know, but it doesn't matter. We can use the hair for DNA comparison and place him at the scene of the crime. 
I sent the fibers to the FBI labs to see if they can find anything unusual or unique about them. Okay. All right, let's continue. I've been meaning to ask you. Did you call her? Call? Oh, call no, who? I didn't. I just don't have the courage. Can we not talk about this now? Sure, but promise me that you will call her. Okay, okay, I promise. Okay, sweetie, I'm out of here. Don't forget my beautifully handwritten report. It's on the table. Right, I see it. What the hell was that about? Maybe that's something that's like referencing events in post-mortem, but I, I don't think so. I think post-mortem set like decades and decades ago. Maybe she's got like a, a daughter or something. Um, right, yeah, let's, let's have a look at this, shall we? This must be the report. So I guess this is going to be the, uh, right, the fifth one. Yeah, it's not an item like the rest, so I guess it's going to be in... Is it here? Ah. Oh, we've got something for the security card as well. Oh, right. Oh, okay, I didn't realise I picked this up, to be perfectly honest. But let's go back. Uh, Claire's report. Here we go. Alright. Witnesses. Uh, yeah. David Miller was present at the beginning of the autopsy. Okay, the cause of death is drowning. The blunt trauma caused by repeated blows with fists and booted feet was administered before death, as indicated by the nature of the bruising and lividity of the tissues. A large curved, single-edged blade was used in the evisceration of the torso and stab wounds, inflicted on the breasts and torso of the victim, post-mortem. The evisceration would have proved fatal had the victim still been alive. Toxicology tests revealed both an elevated blood alcohol level in excess of 0.2, uh, and the presence of rehypnol, which combined with alcohol, would have incapacitated the descent, the decedent. Hence the lack of defensive wounds. The mode of death is homicide, and that's uh, Claire Ashby, yeah, medical examiner. And that's actually it, so not really much in the way of the report in comparison to the others. But there you go. Right, now what have we got? Ah, what's she working on over here? I could see if I had some metachlorians in my blood. My god, that was weak. <laughs> Do you mean midi-chlorians? Is that a Star Wars reference? I mean, come on, get it right. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think that's pretty much that, to be honest. Right, so we've got the report. Um, I don't know. Should we, should we go see Miller again, I guess? Maybe speak with Tate? I don't think there's anything else to do here, to be honest. Ah, a phone call to save the day. Hello? Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Dad. Huh. I just heard on the news. Another one? Yes, another one. Is everything okay with you? I'm okay. I'm just really tired of this case. It's going nowhere fast. I hate this passiveness. I think it's starting to get the better of me. Well, before that actually happens, why don't you come here and rest? A little R&R &R won't do you any harm. You can use the jacuzzi to relax and put your thoughts in order. Yeah. And it's almost Christmas. I have a little gift for you. Oh, really? Well, I have the gift you wanted. Are you sure you want it? It seems a little ordinary. Hey, <laughs> it's what I wanted. So, are you coming to the house? Yeah, sure. Okay, honey. I'll see you soon. Dad? Yes, honey? Thanks. You're more than welcome. See you in a bit. Bye. All right. Okay, are we, are we just leaving then? Maybe that was our sign to go. Although the boss did mention writing a report. Yeah, I probably need to sort of relay the information that I was just given from Claire, I guess. Okay. Nope, oh, Tate's still here, I see. Let's see then. Um. Oh boy. Yes, I <laughs> Perfect. Right, he looks like he's ready for a conversation. Um, Tate, what's going on with you? Taking a breather? Yes, but... Yeah, it's the damn weather. It's depressing as hell. I need to gather more energy before I go back out there. You're still on patrol? Yes. Unfucking fortunately yes. <laughs> well, hang in there. No. I'll try. I'm sure you will. No. Right, um... Can I speak yes. with Miller, or...? Maybe I need to go to my own desk. Maybe put the card back. Here's Claire's report. Ah. Hey, Miller, one last thing. Can you correlate the data of the fourth victim and the fifth to see if we're overlooking something? Sure. I'll run them through the database. Thanks for the report. Yes, I... Okay, great. 
Well, seeing as we're up here, let's have another look at the uh, the desk. Yes, I might need to put my card back or something like that. Or... Yes, nope, don't need to use the computer at all. I guess Miller's taking care of all of that. No, no more phone messages. I, I take it... Right, these are just the, yes, the same autopsy reports, no matter where I click and everything. Yes, I okay, uh... Use... There? No, I don't think so. No. I guess we just keep hold of yes, that. I know, but... <laughs> Who's he talking to? Yes. Maybe that girlfriend. <laughs> right. Yeah. Back down to my car, I think. I think it's time we go see Dad. Yes. Yes, we're done. Okay. And another yellow dot added to the map. So, let's see. Pat's house. Pat being my dad, I take it, right? Let's go. Alright. Big place. Wow. Giant windows. <laughs> Is that an ex-church or something? Shit. Dad? <laughs> you put I'm your in slippers here, on? sweetheart. <laughs> Suits you. Hi, Dad. Hi, Pumpkin. Are you sure about this gift? Yeah, gimme, gimme, gimme. Suit yourself, here you are. What is it? Thanks, sweetheart. You know me. I love these things. Now yours. <laughs> what? Be more specific. Oh, what have we got? Oh, a necklace? Looks like it. Yeah, there you go, a necklace. Where did you get this? I thought we lost it. I found it when I was cleaning out the attic. Actually, it was inside your grandfather's chest. Ah. You should maybe take a look inside there. It'll take you back. I think I will. I will. Yeah. Thanks for the gift, Dad. I had a feeling you'd like it. I think it's actually my grandfather that you play as in the sort of first game of the series, which is called Post Mortem. Remember the stories he used to tell us? How can I forget? My favorite one was Paris. Because of the occult twist he brought to it. <laughs> That's post mortem. Yours was the one in London, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, romantic and mysterious. Yeah, maybe after finishing this game, and maybe Still Life 2 as well, I might go back to post mortem to see how all this all started decades ago for my grandfather. I've already started playing it just for myself, but um, yeah, I chose to focus on this one first. There is one story he always avoided telling me, though. The one when he met Grandma. He never would talk about it. Was it not a fond memory? I'm sure it is, Pumpkin. But he could never talk about it. I think your grandfather lost someone close to him when he met your grandmother. And I guess it was too painful for him to recall. Hmm. All right. Where'd he meet Grandma? He met her in Prague, I believe. Hmm. Speaking of your grandmother, this year, can you get around to making her special holiday cookies? Please? I knew that was coming. Oh, they don't take long to make. I know, I'll make some, don't worry. <laughs> Great. The stuff is already on the counter. What a surprise. I'm gonna have a look in the attic. Might bring back some good memories. Okay, sweetheart. I'll be in here. Fair enough. Uh, right. Well, let's, uh, let's explore Pat's house, shall we? Or can we talk to him again? Dad, did you happen to find my old box in the attic? No, sweetheart. I didn't find your memoric figurine. Damn. Memoric figurine? Hmm, okay, fair enough. Uh, right. Is that what I got him? Whatever that is? Uh, not really sure, to be honest. Uh, yeah. I, 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 mm. <laughs> whatever. He seemed to like whatever it was. So let's see, we can go back down there to the stairs. I suppose we want to go upstairs, really. But, um... Do we want to have a game? I haven't played in years. I probably suck now. Yeah, that's usually the way it works. Okay, two ways to go, I guess. Uh, yep. There's a cabinet that's open, a phone I don't want to interact with. Um, okay, let's let's go straight on, shall we? Yeah. Oh, Christ. No, no, not now. I'm not ready for this. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to make cookies. Let's go this way. <laughs> let's see what's in here. Ah, now this is more my style. What have we got? Ah, Chiante Classico. Molto bene. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, do we want one of these? I could really go for vodka right now. Well, go on then. No one's looking. I'm not going to say anything. Fancy chairs. Sun loungers. Oh, hang on. Oh, we can go this way as well. I hear a, a water. Oh, this is the jacuzzi, is it? Okay, a great combo. A shot of ice cold vodka, a glass of good red wine while dipping in the tub. <sighs> I'll get to that later. I guess so. All right. Through here? No. Uh, is that even a door? I think it might be. I'm not. <laughs> we uh, we can't use it anyway. Uh, back here, I guess. Okay. Uh, well, I suppose what we probably have to do is go to the kitchen. Let's see then. Go on. Maybe Dad's trying to send me a message. Uh, I'll do them later. Oh, I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> I really am. Look at all these cupboards as well. Right. None of them can be opened. No, can't interact with any of these. Is that the same thing? Yeah, it's just the stuff on the counter. Okay. Uh, we can't go to the camera anymore. We can go to the right, though. Fucking bunny slippers, seriously. Ah. Fine dining. I thought he was going to change these chairs. Each time I sit in one, it doesn't feel like I'm eating, but ruling a small country. <laughs> he's, uh, he's pretty well off, your dad. By the looks of it. What was that? Hang on. Is it the picture frame over there? or the Yeah, the picture frame, I think. I always look stupid in pictures. Especially this one. <laughs> okay. And that is that for the dining room. Okay, I suppose we need to go upstairs, right? We need to go to the attic. So, back this way. Yep. Right. Okay, so can we just, um... Actually, can we go towards the fireplace at all? Or does that just go back to the other screen? Right, that just goes back to the other screen. And can we... Right. Yeah, I don't suppose we want to leave quite yet, do we? Oh. What's this? An umbrella? This might be helpful to get up into the attic. Really? Not for going outside in the snow. Oh! Could, uh, hang, uh, right, it might be because of the hook of the handle, right? Maybe. Let's go upstairs. Alright, let's see. In here? No. We can't go any closer to the camera. Can't mess with the light switch. What have we got here? A big I old don't painting. know why, but I never liked that painting. What's that meant to be? Is that like a, is that a tiger's face? Something like that. It's bloody huge. <laughs> All right. Okay. Three ways to go, apparently. Let's, I guess, start on the left and work right. Dad's room? Why the hell would I go in there? Because I have no idea where I'm going. All right. <laughs> this way? It looks open, at least. Is this the way to the attic? Maybe? Oh, look at that screensaver. Oh, that's old school as fuck. Can't mess with it, unfortunately. Uh, over here? No. Yeah, another painting? One of my grandfather's old paintings. Oh. It's from when he was in Paris, I think. Hmm. Yeah, G. McPherson, 1927. Yeah, I think, I think it's Gustav. Gustav, you play in, uh, in Postmortem. I guess that's that. And I don't see any loft hatch or anything like that. And I don't believe I saw one out in the hallway either, really. No. Here? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> what? Is, is this my room, then? Maybe. My old room. Hang on. Teddy and I used to be inseparable. I guess so. Uh, okay. It hasn't changed it much, then. Don't take this the wrong way, Victoria, but I didn't think your old room would be so pink and girly. What have we got in here? Ah, ah, there it is. Ah, uh, yes, the trap door to the attic. I can't reach it. What was the trick to opening that thing again? Well, I guess the trick was finding an umbrella. Yes, there you go. Yeah, it was the hook. Yeah, it was to, to hook it down. There you are. Up we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. Right, okay. Um, it's a bit dark up here, to be honest. Guess we can go down. What's that? Oh, we, oh something we can use. What's that weird symbol again? Is that is that a light? It is a light. Fantastic. Okay. Now let's see. Is that it back there? Maybe. 
That actually looks like that might be the only thing we can have a look at. So yeah, this must be grandfather's chest. Okay. Oh. Oh. Bloody hell. Oh, it's some sort of weird combination, apparently. Okay. Uh... Right, so we've got spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs. I, um... I don't know. Um... And, and what does this do? Is, is that a reset? I guess so. Um... Hmm, some sort of puzzle. Let's see. Do I... Is it the necklace? Is it something to do with the necklace? Let's have a look. There's a heart on it. Is it right? Uh, zoom in. Oh, that, yeah, right, right. Two diamonds, heart, and then two two diamonds. That's it. Right, there you go. Two diamonds, heart, two diamonds. I can remember that. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> two diamonds, there you go. Oh, shit, ruined it. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who configured this thing? Here? Oh, okay, here we go. Might be able to get it right? Heart, heart, well, no, not really. Oh, shit. Do we work from the right left or the left right? I'm not sure. This is actually kind of confusing. This isn't quite as easy as I'd anticipated. There you go. Oh, if only I could move just those two there, I could probably do that. No, oh, son of a bitch. Hmm. No, you know what? This might take me a while. Plus, I've been playing for a while now, so I think this is actually where I'm going to end part two of Still Life. I'll, uh, I'll keep cracking away at this puzzle, and when I found a solution, I'll let you all know about it in part three. See you then. <laughs> okay. Fucking hell, Victoria. I, I guess we can't uncombine the items. Let's just use it in here. I don't need to do that. You don't? Oh. Well, forget it then. You know, Miller, you do have your moments. He saved your life. Okay. Hey. Yes! Okay, there you go. That was that was a clue. Oh, Christ. No, no, not now. I'm not ready for this. No, I don't, <laughs> don't want to make cookies. Let's go this way. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Ah, now this is more my style. Two diamonds, heart, two diamonds. I can remember that. I don't know if I can do that. 